Hello, my fabulous Capricorn Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, and North Node, okay? Wherever you have Capricorn in your chart, this message is for you. So Capricorns, what to do, what to do, you are going to have a great weekend. Outings, lots of outings, money is looking good, you're smelling good, you're feeling good, you are happy about your choices and decisions, and this is, I'm picking up on a female. You are happy about your choices and decisions. Girl, if you didn't think you were strong, boo, you are strong. You are the epitome of what strength is. Okay? Somebody was thought they was tripping, they was tripping, tripping. Okay? If they didn't know they was tripping, they was tripping, tripping. Child. Ooh, allergies. Hay fever, child, king of pentacles, king of pentacles, okay, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, he looking dapper there, you know, he is packing too, everywhere, you know, bank account fat, okay, mind on swole, all right, got his shit together, feeling like everything is gold, woo, child, he is coming with that life energy. I'm feeling nothing but life, okay? Avatar energy. Child, he's a good father too. A good father. Roots strong. He got good roots. All right, what else we got? Why am I getting cobra energy? Cobra. That's a powerful snake. Very abundant in the spiritual community. Cobras. Look it up. Healed. Aquarius energy. A healer. Ships coming in. He sensed that you are a healer. He know you've been through a lot. He come from a long line of healers. Seven of Cups, many options, many options. But whoever this person is, is not paying attention to those options. He got a lot of people, m women and men, buying for his attention. Men look up to him. They always want to know what he is thinking. Because he's, a, he's always off somewhere else. Planning his next move. He likes to find the things in life. Luxury. Luxury. Very luxurious. What else? Love water. Saunas, pools, spas. Ooh. Come from a community. This community could be jealous of him. But watches him very hard. He is very protective of his space. And anything in his circumference zone that he claimed or deemed as his. Family. Family. He's very overprotective when it comes to his family. Aries, Leo, or Sag. And he doesn't hide it either. He doesn't hide none of it. And whatever juju he got magic, he is upfront about it. He's up front about it. Definitely up front about his strengths and his gifts. Prince of Wands. A son. A son. He's hoping his son grows up like he did. Learns from him. Learns from him. And not get caught up in his feelings, emotions, and the way he looks. Because people will take advantage of that. People will deem him as naive. So he's hoping that his son is not using that as a gift. Because people will use you because of that. So people want to be around this son because of the energy he holds. Good energy. Good energy. People gravitate to him. He has a lot of a lot of 
gifts when it comes to his feet. Very, very active. Very active. Queen of Wands. And we all know the Queen of Wands is passionate, fiery, attractive, very spiritual. Witchy vibes. She watches. She is what you call a watcher. She is a seer. Cats, black cats love her. Black cats hold a very high ranking in the spiritual realm. I also get dragonfly energy that is wisdom. And the water lily plants that adores her feet, that is life. On ground and in the water. Six of Pentacles, very fair. End of the cycle, now we are upon new cycles. We go through many new cycles. Earth angel energy, world energy. This has to do with the, 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 the astrology. This has to do with astrology. A lot of say, signs changing. A lot of things are changing. A lot of signs are going forward. Like at certain times. Each sign is changing, elevating, or growing. And if you don't, you will get left behind. Know who you are. Get your chart done. It is imperative to your evolution. Balance, two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Taurus energy. Got a lot of got a lot of Taurus energy. Virgo and Capricorn. Ace of Swords. This is all about the truth and integrity. Devil card. Toxic patterns and ways you have the strength to overcome. But first you have to see it. This is all about somebody seeing things. So they can get a better understanding of the truth of this Capricorn. Devil card is Capricorn energy. This is a Capricorn read. So that's auspicious within itself. People think that you are the life of the party. In many ways. People want you to be how you used to be. But that will only hinder you. It will not progress you forward. You can't be like that no more. You have to use your brain. You have to be logical and analytical about your choices and decisions. And your nature. And your nature. You've been through a lot of things. You've overcome a lot of things. Do not let people bring you back to that energy. You know the truth of it. You know how you can get when you in certain situations around certain people. Do not let people bring you back to that. You deserve better. You deserve better. People don't like the fact that you've gotten so far in life. Mentally. How did you come from that? And become this. How did you come from that. And become this. It astounds. It astounds somebody. About how vibrant and beautiful you are. How strong you are. How resilient you are. How did you come from that. And become this. Is what I got. Tell me about. It could be from a Leo. Tell me about King of Pentacles. Please use discernment, take what resonates, and leave the rest out. This is a general reading. Whatever energies I pick on, up on, it might display a little bit of yours and other people. If you want a personal reading, you can message me in the message department. But this is a general reading. Leo energy. Double Leo. You got the strength. And I don't want to say to tame this king of pinnacles. But this king of pinnacles see you as strength. Beautiful. Inf infinite. Pure. A mother's earth child. Comes with the ace of cups. Your beauty, your strength. You are the ace of cups to someone. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. You are love, deep 
abundant prosperity, love. It's death within these cups. Never let anyone drink from your cup. They only get what overflows out of your cup. You are a blessing. Your strength is a blessing. Holy energy. Holy. And just because you've been through some shit and you went through some strength and you got out of the struggle, that don't mean you ain't holy. Your heart is pure. That's what makes you holy. The decisions you make so you won't hurt others is what makes you holy. Your actions and behaviors. A lot of monitoring, sp monitoring spirits, spirits watching you. A lot of eyes you don't see watching you. Tell me about the Aquarius card, star energy. They always pretend like they don't. The devil card twice. Two devil cards in a Capricorn reading. Somebody wants you to go back to your toxic ways and behavior. We got the devil card clarifying the star card, the healer card, the being seen as a star. Somebody doesn't like that. Somebody feels like that is contradictory energy because of what you came from what you overcome, and they want to throw you back in those trenches. That door is closed. That door is closed. Tell me about the devil card. Tell me about the devil card. The dead. Santa Martha. The dead. Santa Martha. Page of Pentacles. It could be a child, a masculine, because of money. Santa Madre. Speaking, trying to speak to the dead, this child. Not a good connection. Feels like they can choose the right man for you. Mate. Abort motherfucking mission. He has no clue what a real mate is. He is not a real mate to himself. He's only a child mentally. Very naive. He feels like this is going to be a lucrative start. Whoever this Cap Capricorn is, this devil energy, this person with toxic energy. You are the healer. They are the devil. And we got the strength card twice. So guess what? The devil card twice, the strength card, the strength card could beat the devil. Tell me about the seven of cups. Pay attention to who you celebrate with. I got the justice in reverse. Whatever these options and behaviors that somebody had when it came to people, places, and things... They were, they act like it was fair. It was not. There will be no justice because of it. Somebody was trying to use connections as a way for equal give and take. There will be no justice. I got the justice card in reverse. That's Libra energy. Tell me about the seven of wands. You can always ask and wait for your answer to come. And when you find out what your answer is, believe it. They will show you in many ways, through card readings, just through numbers, through things that seem often that strikes you as auspicious, auspicious, protecting the hierophant, this undecided energy. Don't know if you want to get married or not. Don't want to, don't know if you want to get married or not. You're still on the fence about it. You still want to get married, but you want to get married to the right person. This is all about a structure, a religion. This is all about spirituality. You want somebody, a spiritual partner, someone you can really grow with, someone who has your best interest at heart. This is all about learning. You're not sure. Somebody is protecting themselves because they are not sure about this situation, this structure, spirituality, this growth, this knowledge. And whenever you're not sure about something, take your time. Every day, whatever it is, it should not rush you. 
It should always lead with integrity and safety and love. That's how you will know. Tell me about the Prince of Wands. Don't let nobody rush you into no union. Continue to stand your ground. Prince of Wands, Five of Cups. It's going to be sad. If this Prince of Wands lead with their looks, their body, their passion, their loins, rushing on to things because they feel like they don't got enough time, that their youth is running out of time, their age is catching up with them, they're going to be sad. They're going to go through a lot of changes, and then they're going to look back and see what they lost because of it, not realizing time is still going. You haven't yet to uncover what's open there, out there for you. Stop looking and focusing on the past of what you lost. You didn't lose it. It was meant to be lost for a reason so you can gain knowledge. So what did you learn? What are you learning when it comes to emotions, cups, relationships? Love. Communication. There's two sides to every coin. And each side, side means something different. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Secrets. Someone feels like there's a lot of secrets when it comes to this Queen of Wands. Very mysterious. Very mysterious. She doesn't let on a lot. You think she's telling you a lot, but it's not. You know that there's more to be told. But it ain't your motherfucking business. And when it is, if it is, then you will be told when the time is right. Moon, goddess energy. She is protected by the moon. Balance. This goddess energy, this moon energy, this mother energy looks out for her. And what you don't see, believe me, is being seen. Cancer energy. This queen of wands, lots to uncover, all in her own time, all in her own time, very different, very different, very poised, different every day. The spirits are saying about the speech. The speech changes a lot. Very deep. Egyptian energy. Something about her Egyptian energy speaks. She is a queen. A pharaoh. She holds both masculine and feminine energy in her staff. Her staff. Very powerful. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Has something to do with the Queen of Wands and somebody being sad because of the Queen of Wands. Because of a lot of secrets. And it has to do with the Prince of Wands. Not going to get any money off of this person. There will be no money to be had. Because it was not fair. You are not fair. So you will not reap any of rewards because of this person, off of this person, from this person. You have to have your own pinnacles. Tell me about the world card. The king of wands. There's a king of wands that somebody is not sure of when it comes to money either. Is he going to be fair? Is he really ready for a new cycle? They're not sure about this King of Wands. Matching sweets. It's just an energy though. Somebody is not sure about this King of Wands. I don't know if they're not sure if he's trustworthy. Is he going to do what he say he's going to do? Is he going to be fair? How is he going to be fair with no money? How can he give anything with nothing? 
Tell me about how was he prepared for a new cycle with no money? Tell me about the two of pentacles. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. They say it's Aries energy. Well, whatever this thing that somebody, whatever somebody is not getting justice for, I got the seven of swords in reverse. This is going to bring balance. No more, no more lying, backstabbing, and betrayal. That is why somebody is not, justice is not going in somebody's favor because they were the problem. Whoever this person who had many options, let's just say they bet on the wrong horse. Somebody does not have to worry about being sabotaged by options. That's going to bring balance, especially with money. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands. Inspiration, passion. This is a big kahuna. A lots of passion, lots of inspiration. A big old door opening. This is going to go a very long time has to do with the 3D and the spiritual. And somebody, people are going to be sad because of it. Ace of Swords, truth about this Ace of Wands. This chemistry, this passion, this fire, this knowledge, this action, truth about it. Coming out. Coming out. Everything will unfold and do time. Tell me about the devil card during this Capricorn read. I told you we had two devil, devil cards and two Libra, Leo cards. Strength cards. Four swords. Putting an end to this toxicity. To this devil card with the four swords. Because somebody know the truth. Somebody know what it is. And it's been exhausted. Exhausted. Three swords hanging over them. Three people. Three situations. Somebody escaped death three times this year. Three times escaping death. Somebody is thinking about that. Somebody is thinking about all the truths and what they've been through with this devil energy. Will of fortune, karma, good karma, good karma. What else we got? Good karma. Thinking about a lot of things. And this person could have been in devil energy too. Castle. Life and stability. This is about a home. This is about a home. Somebody wants a home that is stable, that is safe, that brings nothing but stability. I got cat hitting dangers. Whoever this Prince of Wands is hitting dangers, dangers. Lots of secrets about this Prince of Wands, this cat energy. This has to do all about the spiritual. Whoever this person is, is opening up doors that they should never open. The equilibrium, three, 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 mind, body, and spirit. You can Google that number. Angel number, three, 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 equilibrium, equilibrium, equilibrium. I was right. Mind, body, and spirit, a connection. To this moon goddess energy. There's a connection. What else? Nine of Cups. Nine of diamonds and four diamonds. 
Let's see what that is. Nine of hearts, selfishness and ex excess. Don't overdo, overdo drinking. Somebody is over drinking. Drinking a lot to excess, selfishness. That's not a good energy. Too many options, too many partakes of cups. Very dangerous this person is. Nine of diamonds, the hermit. Sacrifice without regret, self-care. This is all about going within. Sacrifice without regret. So that way you don't have to look back and feel bad because of it. Self-care, take care of yourself, mind, body, and spirit, and you will not regret it. Four di diamonds, hesitation to help others, or for passion. Or for passion. Especially when you know the truth of what's going on. Preoccupation with material possessions. You know the truth of this person. Do not help this person because they act like they got an idea. And it's truthful. And they act like it's, it's serious. No. Hesitation to help others. Preoccupation with material possessions. Somebody is too occupied with material possessions. They are living in lack. Living in lack. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Oops. I'm going to take two more. No growth. Whoever this person is who's obsessed with material things, there's no growth. No growth for this person. They are living, living in lack mindset and they will be spiritually broke and poor 3D wise. Every time I do a video, somebody is calling me. This has everything to do with the past life relationship. Somebody feels like you are so, you know, juicy down in between. Okay. They just feel so taken care of when they're in your energy. Someone is addicted to your energy, your sex, your vibration, your kundalini energy. A twin flame looking forward to a new cycle because they are more balanced and that is the truth. Sometimes you got to just stop paying attention to the time and just continue putting that energy into making sure everything is right. Arrow. Let's see what this arrow means. My son and daughter went food shopping because the woman is busy, busy, busy. Your children can do a lot of things. Give them more responsibility and make sure you reward them from doing a great job. This is how you teach them to be independent adults. t -walls. Letter T meaning try the sky god. Leadership, warrior, balance, self-sacrifice. We had that already in the reading. Self-sacrifice, logical thought, rationality, victory. T walls, and that is going up. This should lead you to evolution, evolving mentally. You are a warrior, you are a leader, you are balanced. Self sacrifice. Always do things that benefit you in the right way, not off of selfishness, not off of bad intentions. Things will always grow that way. That's how you get abundance and prosperity. By doing the right thing. So let's see. Sometimes people have a problem with speaking up. But that's the only way you get things solved. 
I got the number eight for infinity and abundance. Eight's all about abundance and infinity. I got dream. You are very intuitive. You get messages in your dream. I got the letter N. That's for a last name. I got the healer's mark. You are protected by evil eye and people trying to throw negative energy and toxic energy your way. You are protected. I got Capricorn twice. Passionate. So you are very passionate. Capricorn twice. And this is a Capricorn read. Ambitious. So I got passionate and ambition. Continue with what you're doing. And thank you, Capricorns. Like and subscribe to my motherfucking channel. And enjoy.